It's on the side, but baby, things are starting to go in our way. I know where I'm going. Last week you screamed, but then you turned your back and just ran away. <laughs> Welcome to Quick Rip. Big B here with you. Hope you're doing well out there. Hey, I want to take a couple of moments and uh, just talk about heavyweight John Jones because he came out earlier today, dropped a, a training video, a video of him hitting mitts um, on his Instagram there. And he's looking fucking good. And let me tell you that. I'll put the video up here uh, just in case you haven't seen it out there couple of points I want to make. His size looks on point. I think he's fucking ready, folks. I think he's found out the perfect combination of bulking up and still keeping um, speed and timing, uh, everything that goes along with, uh, with being John Jones, right? Now, <clears throat> what the fuck is the holdup? <laughs> you got heavyweight John Jones... Uh, posting on Instagram, hitting mitts, fucking bare knuckle, bare knuckle yet. Uh, he's looking smooth. Where's an opponent for him? Uh, the only thing that comes to my mind is Stipe, right? It's it's got to be Jones versus Stipe. I uh, I I don't I don't really want to see anything else. I hope it's Jones and Stipe. Now we did hear from uh, Uncle Chael a couple days ago saying that uh, Stipe has actually quietly put on some muscle and bulked up himself. Um, now, Stipe is a little bit of a little bit of a harder one. He's not uh, he's not so big on the social media. He's not pumping videos out there of of him training, him bulking up. But if I trust anyone in this business, it would be uh, Uncle Chael for the inside scoop. This has got to be announced soon. I'm thinking. Uh, Maybe even their, you know, January, February um, in that time frame is what I'm thinking. Of course, I have no sources on that. Um, that's To me, that's just what makes the most sense at this time. Jones versus Stipe, if they both bulked up, <laughs> it's going to be absolutely insane if that goes down. Now... His other choices, really, I mean, who he got? Um, we got Cyril Ogon and Tuivasa, who, if I'm not mistaken, are, are facing one, one another already. Um, I'm pretty sure they're booked. So, I mean, who else you got? You got Nagano. Uh, I mean, obviously, I would love to see John Jones versus Francis Nagano for, for the fucking belt. But I think Nagano is still months and months away. Um, unless that's what they're waiting for. I, I don't know. But then you got not only Nagano is recovering from injury and surgery. Um, the last we heard, there was some some contract talk, uh, some contract disputes maybe, if you want to put it that way. Um, those have kind of gone quiet right now. But that's not to say that they're still not there. Uh, I think Francis's number one priority is uh, recovery and getting healthy again. Then he can see where he goes from there. So really, the only thing that makes sense is John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. Um, that would be a fantastic headliner, uh, whether it's for an interim belt or not. I, I really don't care. Five rounds of that. Sign me the fuck up. What do you think out there in Fightland? Who's John Jones going to face in his heavyweight debut? Um, is it even ever going to happen? I mean, this this is this is years in the making. Um, so yeah, who who do you think he's going to face? Who do you want him to face? And let me know uh, what you think about his training video. I personally think he's looking fantastic and and he's fucking ready to roll. Anyway, there's my rant on heavyweight John Jones. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up and uh, click that subscribe button. Till next time, people, take care and peace.